어제. Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Matt here from Brawler HQ and about two or three weeks ago, 4th of July to be precise, I went out on a little mini Baku hunt to see what had changed in my local shopping centre since the lockdown began. So here I am at my first stop, The Entertainer. Let's see how it goes. Look at this, here they are. Been a while since I've seen them. Doesn't really look to be anything changed really. We've got the cards here. Dragon Ball Maximus down there, nothing really changed at all. We've, there are packs and um, uh, it doesn't look to be um, anything I haven't gotten yet. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens then. So yeah, nothing really special there, just the normal Battle Planet stuff, nothing much uh, very new at that point. Also, I thought at a time, you'll have to wait and see what happens next. So now at the next stop, my shopping centre has two entertainers in the same place. Why? I have absolutely no idea, but still, let's see what's in this one, shall we? Okay, we've got them again around here. Um, again, it seems to be the same old story, nothing really new in terms of um, new products, just the same... Uh, Stop and Battle Planet has been here before. Uh, no signs of Armour of the Lions, unfortunately, but that's not a problem. I'll see if I can try and get my hands on one of these um, uh, starter parks, maybe even a core that I haven't got yet. But uh, yeah, uh, if I do manage to get anything, I'll show you what happens at the end. Yeah, as you could tell, I was pretty disappointed with how the backing hunt had gone. So I went back to the entertainer on the top floor to see if I missed anything out up there. And then, and then. Oh, massive update. Look what I found from right here. So as I'm sure you can tell, I nabbed that little munchkin, scurried off back home and unboxed it all for you guys. Enjoy! Let's get this open. Ah, there it is. Right, so I think we should start with the cards we get. Okay, so I know this is extremely old news now that Armed Alliance is out now, but here is the uh, checklist for Battle Planet, for those who haven't seen it yet, or if you're only just getting into this. Uh, but we don't need to see that. It's got the instructions of uh, Dragonoid Ultra on the back. We don't need to see those. I know how to do it. Uh, but anyway, onto the cards here. One thing I am really not a fan of um, with this is that they give you three for each card when you're in Europe. The only way I can... Uh, the only ones I really keep are the ones that have all rights reserved in English on them. So this one can go. This one, you can barely read them, but this can go. This one, focus. Focus that bit. Oh, never mind, this has all rights reserved on it anyway. This one stays. All right, so then we have Diamond Trino here. And uh, which one? These two out. Well. There we go. Diamond Clop Tour. I'm really excited for this one. And then we have the uh, just the normal clock tour cards. We have the normal ones for each uh, um, uh, back down here. So we have the normal one for Trino as well. Um, okay. This is interesting. Hyper Dragonoid Ultra? Really? Hyper Dragonoid Ultra? Okay. But anyway, that's the cards out of the way. Let's move on to the cores. Let's see what we have. And out they come. Now, what do we have? So we have a, uh, let's see. Regular shield, minus 300 B power. Good trap right there. Uh, green fist for two damage. Uh, flaming fist, plus 250 and three damage. Very nice. Uh, plus 50 and one damage shield. Uh, another shield, plus 150 and one damage. And a magic shield, plus 650 Bs. Like that, like some of these cores, um, like particularly like the um, magic shields and helixes can get OP as hell sometimes, I've got to say. But now let's get on to the main event. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Um, the, dra the Dragonoid Ultra Pack has been one that I've had my eyes on for quite a while. So I'm really excited to have this. Let's get into these. First up, let's open this up. Kloptor. Core Diamond Kloptor. This guy looks just just wonderful. It's really, really, really nice. You've got 
got the eye in the middle. People always refer to this as the tend to clear battle planet, and I can see why. Um, I'm, I'm honestly surprised that they didn't use the um, uh, shape for tend to clear, like like the uh, regular kind, of sh like just the core like kind of design uh, that tend to clear had for clocks or here. But I, I, but there are the similarities. Obviously, the eye dead center in the middle. Uh, but yeah, that is. Re really nice. Uh, pretty easy to fold up here. Um, oh, that reminds me. I never checked the um, B power. Where's that? Uh, it's on a wing. No, it's on this uh, little flap there. It's a uh, 600 B power. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, 600 Bs. That's all right. And with the um, uh, with the diamond evolution, I don't actually, I, I didn't actually see uh, what it was. 700 B power for the diamond evolution. That's not really much. I've got to say, that's not really much. But, um, yeah, as I said, Kloptor, um as a core has a really, uh, really good design. I'm, I'm, I'm still struggling to get get this close. The tail needs to go up first, I'm seeing. Uh, but, yeah, re really happy with this. I'm, I'm still getting it wrong. I'm going to have to cut to the next one. Later. This one's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Oh dear. Well, look, he's take me from opening him on the, on the radios in front of me. Here's Diamond Trino. This is my um, first um, Aurelus Diamond. It looks... It looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. Look, look at it. The gold is just shimmering on him. It's just, just, just something to behold, isn't it? Literally... I'm, I'm, I'm speechless just trying to look at this. It's amazing. As for Trino's stats, he's um, very much weaker than uh, uh, Kloptor in base form, uh, 300 B power. Uh, um, it's only expanded up to 400 B power in uh, diamond form, but you do get plus 800 if you land on a, uh, a shield core. So that's a bit of a plus. But now, main event time. Come on. There you come, you stubborn bugger. Oh. Here he is. Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. He looks great. He, look, he looks brilliant. Like with all that, the, the, the glossy finish to the um to the paint. Like even on this, on the magnet piece, just looks looks wonderful. Well, let's fold them up and see them in ball form. Oh my god, it looks even better. Look at it. Look how, look how, look how shiny, look at this shiny, look at the shiny, shiny, look at that, wonderful. It's just, it's just, it's just, just a, br just, it's a brilliant three, three pack. I'm not going to bother rolling them out because I'm sure you've all seen Drago Ultra's um, opening action. But yeah, that will do it for this joint Baku hunt and unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe to Brawler HQ. Make sure to ring the bell to know when all our videos come out. So on behalf of me and everyone else at Brawler HQ, Keep on brawling.